Vadim, I need to talk. Just a minute, Yekim. I am in middle of story. So... Then I am crossing river, right? <laughs> wearing nothing but a smile. When out comes the most dangerous of all sea monsters. A mire lurk! A mire lurk? Come on. That's like two out of ten points of danger tops. Now, if you want to talk something really deadly... Vadim! Oh, I forgot you were there, Yefim. What is it? You know what? Never mind. I'll handle it myself. See this bar? I killed a man for it. <laughs> no, no. I kid. I kid. <coughs> he is dead, though. <laughs> now, let me know when you're ready to order. So, this your bar? Damn straight it is. My brother Yefim and I make the best moonshine in the entire Commonwealth. We call it Bobrov's Best. Had to start renting out rooms just so customers had a place to safely pass out after drinking it. <laughs> Maybe later. Some other time, then. Oh, a customer. Need a room? What's the story with this place? Not much to say. We sell food, drink, and rooms. Mainly for traders that come to the area. My brother Vadim runs the bar. Scarlet's our waitress, and she helps me keep the rooms clean. As much as they can be. <laughs> Let me think about it. Yeah, sure. Ah, yes, you. <laughs> Famous bobber of liquor, on tap all day. Don't need anything today. <sighs> fine, fine. Hey, Vadim. Drinks! The finest liquor moonshiners can brew, right here. Not now. <sighs> fine, fine. If yeah. you don't live here, you ain't nobody, got it? Hi there. You can order drinks and food here or at the bar. Who owns this bar, anyway? The Bobrov brothers picked this place up a few years ago. Uh, Vadim Bobrov is the loud one, Yefim Bobrov is the quiet one, and I'm the one that has to listen to them argue with each other all day. Let me think it over. Later, then. Hey. Yeah? Here to find a new way to ruin my life? Cook won't be bothering Darcy anymore. Good. I knew you could handle him. Oh, and I managed to scrape together what I promised. Here. It was worth it to get Darcy back. So, what happened? Did he give you any trouble? What are you gonna do now? Well... Start trying to win Darcy back. This was only step one. Anyway, thanks for your help. I'll, uh, see you around. What are you gonna do now? I don't know. Things just got crazy. Can't believe he's actually dead. Hey, Paul. What do you want? Hey, whatever you want, I ain't got time. Hey. Hey, what's your story? Mercenary, caravan guard. Wrong on both tries. Hmm. I can usually spot a higher gun on the first look. Maybe you just give off an armed and dangerous vibe. Anyway, I'm just kicking back and sharing stories while I'm between things. I've been all over, seen vaults, pre-war ruins, and plenty of monsters. You've been to a vault? Yeah. Ever heard of Vault 81? They're standoffish, but every once in a while, they'll let new people in. Let's hear your best monster story. I'm from Diamond City. You want to talk something really scary? It's the Institute in their sense. Don't go to University Point. Trust me, you don't want to know what they're capable of. So you explore old ruins? Last place I was going to check out was Salem. Real old town far to the north. Never made it, though. Got a bad feeling about that area. 
See you around, Hawthorne. Yeah, take it easy. I don't know what Paul did, but Henry won't even let me in his bar anymore. Hey there. Ugh, Henry won't let me in the tap house anymore. So, here I am. What? I'm busy. Hi. You ain't gonna last once you leave the wall, so don't get chummy. I ain't your friend, Scava. Read that interview you gave. Then you said at the end. I mean, hold on. Good on you. Look, Scaver, I ain't buying anything. Oh, um. Hi. There. Travis. This radio station? Um. Well, uh, <laughs> well uh, you'll notice. There aren't any other ones. So... Huh. Hey, Travis. Hey, I mean, I mean, I mean, hi. Again, uh, hi? Hi. Hey, I think those Bobrov brothers are looking for you. Oh, here we go. Quiet, you feet. All right, you. Tell me, Diamond City Radio is terrible, yes? It makes you want to cut your own ears off. I don't think I noticed. You listen to it. It grates on ears like sandpaper. This DJ Travis, he is disaster. Something must be done, and soon. We will have customers suiciding before long. Vadim! It's true. Don't listen to my brother. Someone needs to get rid of him. We need a new DJ for the radio. I don't think many would notice if he, you know, disappeared. Sounds good to me. All right! Now, it has to be done quietly, with no fuss. Maybe leave him out of town. I oh, think he's talking that's about... That's enough! Murder! Vadim isn't serious. He doesn't really want to kill Travis. I'm not stupid. I wasn't falling for it. We weren't trying to trick you or anything. Vadim just likes to joke. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. Only jokes. Travis is a good friend. Yefim and I worry about him. Poor Travis. He, he means well, but he does not have the confidence he needs for that job. Or anything else, really. And so he's always awkward. He does not believe in himself, you see? He expects he will fail at everything, and so he does. So, are you actually trying to do something about it? I tell you, themes that I have planned. He does not believe me. You, you and I work on plan. Go on, spoil sport. Go back to working. We will figure out how to help Travis. Come, you. Meet me in back room. We discuss plan. Here you think Diamond City is a rust bucket. Well, if you don't like it, you ain't gotta stay. If you're hungry, we sell food. Good to see returning customers. <laughs> Most die. Uh, you let me know if you need a drink. I'll think about it. You know where to find me.
What do you want, Vadim? I am glad you are willing to help. Unlike my deadbeat brother! Travis is a good guy. He deserves better life. So, what did you have in mind? I'm gonna need some more in the way of... details. Ever been in bar fight? Haven't met a man I couldn't lay out. And this is a good thing. Excellent! Because you are going to help Travis win his first fight. I want to stage fight here in dugout. Nothing too serious. Uh, we make sure Travis wins and feels good about himself after. I want you to be there to help make it look real. What do you think? Sound good to you? That sounds like an absolute disaster. Now you sound like a fiend. Come on! This will work! I have contacts. People I can count on. Real tough looking. But they will take a dive for money. They confront Travis here at dugout. You step in and give him push he needs to stand up to them. Then you and Travis take them down. Nothing gets too rough. And Travis is something he can feel good about. Simple, right? If the goons are getting paid to fight, I want some too. All right, fine. You get cut as well. One hundred cops. I thought Travis was your friend. Isn't he worth more than that? Do not think I miss your attempt to manipulate me. Fine. Two hundred cops. Come on. A guy who owns a bar has got to have plenty of cash lying around. Ah! This is extortion! Three hundred cops, no more! Now you will help? Yeah, it's too late today for me to arrange. You come back tomorrow evening after six o'clock and everything will be ready. Oh, great. It's you. If you don't live here, you ain't nobody. Got it? Hey. You need something, yes? Wait there. I will wait. It is safe here, yes? Prescriptions filled, high quality cams right here. You there, we need to talk. Is there a problem? The problem is that I've learned that you killed my son Nelson. Is this true? I didn't kill Nelson. Whoever told you that was lying. Uh, you are an easy target for anyone trying to shift blame off themselves. If it wasn't you, then who was it? Do you know who killed Nelson? I heard it was Morawski. Nelson was... buying chems from him. I know he was. And now it makes sense why Morosky would try to put the blame on you. That bastard needs to pay. And you can't be too happy about him pinning this on you, right? I'll pay you 400 caps to take care of him. We both win. What do you say? What did this Morosky do to you? He killed my son Nelson. Or had his goons kill him. Either way, he's going to pay. You'll have to find someone else for this one. Don't worry. There are plenty of other lowlifes willing to kill for that kind of money.
Hey. Do you need something from me? I need to ask you something. Have you found someone that can help me become human? It's my top priority. Your efforts are appreciated. Hey. What do you want? Have you found someone that can help me become human? Any idea where I can find someone? We need someone who is fully trained as a neural surgeon and well versed with machine human interfaces. It is no easy thing, but surely someone qualifies? You look like you could use a drink. Dugout Inn's got some cold ones. The latest hairstyles from the upper stands. Read the public and be prepared. Public is here to pull the wool out from under your eyes. Hey, Nat. Read the paper, lady. Trust me. Don't let the stress of life kill you. You ain't gonna last once you leave the wall, so don't get chummy. Hey, Travis. I, I don't, I don't, uh, okay. I usually don't, God, this is why, this is why. Can you just, can you just leave me alone? I don't like you, and I don't like your radio. What you gonna do about it? <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm only here for a drink. Oh, what's wrong? Not so tough once you're not on the air. <laughs> yeah! Can't you just... Can't you just leave me alone? Oh, what's wrong? Not so tough once you're not on the air. <laughs> yeah! Hey there, pal. What? What's this about? Oh, it's you. Everything okay here? Does it look okay? Because... No. It is not. I don't... I have no idea what I did to deserve this. I just wish they'd go away. Come on, man. Take a stand. Don't chicken out here. I, I don't think I, I could uh, do that thing that you're describing. <laughs> With these men, it could, well, it, it, it could turn violent. Don't be such a coward. I'm not a coward. Well, okay, that's, well, that's enough. Oh, I'm sorry. You say something. I said, I said, that's enough. Leave me alone. <laughs> Look at you. Hmm, let me think about that for a second. Um, nah, I don't think so. I, I mean it. Leave me alone! Well, sounds like you were thinking about saying, or else. <laughs> were you, Travis? Were you gonna say, or else? 
I'm wondering what comes after that. What you gonna do, little man? I'll, I'll beat you up! Big mistake, Travis. I'm gonna destroy you and your friend here. Bullshit. This is bullshit, man. This is not what I signed up for. <clears throat> Get lost. The best part of Diamond City is honestly the lights. I could spot those bad boys for miles. I I don't I don't uh Okay. I usually don't oh This is why. This is why. Travis. Whoa. I, I can't believe it. We did it! How do you feel now, huh? I don't know. I mean, wow, I just... Wow! I never thought I could do... Uh, anything like that! That was crazy! Wow. Hey, listen, I, uh... Thanks. That was, well, that was really something. I think maybe I should go lie down now. I don't know what Paul did, but Henry won't even let me in his bar anymore. Just stop, okay? We got our own problems. Hey, Vadim. <laughs> I think that went well! <laughs> Ready for the next part of foolproof plan? It's not more fighting, is it? No, no. This part is simple. You have seen Scarlet, yes? She has worked here for some time. Now, I am just simple bartender, but I see things. I see how Travis looks at her, and I see that sometimes she looks at him. If someone who was not her employer suggests that she go spend time with Travis, it might do him some good. I could have a chat with her. <laughs> yes, I know. This is why I'm telling you. Just do whatever it takes to get her to agree to see Travis, and this will all be worth it. And you and I never talked about this, all right? Don't know you, Scaver. Uh, Henry won't let me in the tap house anymore. So, here I am. Yeah, it's true. I got shot in the ass last year. Long story. Miss? I'm on a break right now. Can I ask you something personal? It's about Travis. Travis? Really? Did he... Did he mention me? Uh, I heard about the fight. Travis was... Well, he was brave. Would you like it if he had mentioned you? Well, yeah. I guess I would. I mean, I've definitely noticed him. Maybe... No. No, I couldn't just go over there. What are you so nervous about? What's the worst that could happen? Believe me, I can think of some pretty horrible things. Look, I'm just not ready for that. Look, Travis is a nice guy. I can tell that you like him, and I think he likes you. Just go talk to him. Okay, I will. I'll go see him now. Thanks. get used to Diamond City security being unhelpful. Just ignore him like I do. 
But this is terrible. Oh, I knew it. I knew it. He was up to no good, and look what's happened now. You've got to help. I can't do it. You've got to help me. What are you talking about? I am talking about Vadim. They took him. Th those men, th the ones that messed with Travis, they came back. Said Vadim owed the money, that they had a deal. He, he wouldn't pay, and that they grabbed him and said that they would make him pay. And then they just dragged him out. You have to do something. Please tell me you can do something. Do you know where they took him? No, I don't know. He's the one that uh, has always dealt with them. I've tried to avoid them. Travis might know. You should ask him, please. Hurry. I don't want anything to happen to Vadim. Now what can I do for you, sweetheart? Shoot people, lady? My dad says outside of shoot people. What's going on? Have you seen Vadim? He was grabbed at the dugout, and Yafim thought you might know where Bull took him. What? That's... That's not a funny joke. Like, at all. I'm not joking around, Travis. This is serious. I really do need your help. Wait. Really? Oh. Oh, man. Wow. Is this... This is because of what happened, isn't it? It's... It's my fault. What does it matter whose fault it was? I guess... Maybe it doesn't matter. But getting him back does. Look, I don't... I don't really... I mean... <laughs> I don't have a lot of friends. If Vadim is missing, or in trouble, or whatever, then I'm gonna help get him back. You really think you're capable of doing what needs to be done? You're talking about... about killing people, aren't you? If... if that's what it takes. I've heard enough to know they're probably holed up at the old Beantown Brewery. We've gotta go in there. Show them we mean business, and and then we can bring Vadim back, and everything will be okay. Right? I'll I'll get a gun and I'll meet you there. We'll settle this. I'm on a break right now. Scarlet. I gotta... I gotta get my stuff together. And I'll meet you there. Travis. I gotta... I gotta get my stuff together. I'm on a break right now. Hey, Scarlet. I'm on a break right now. Is that a pit boy? Hey, be a be a sister. Come on. Absolutely. I'm not supposed to talk to people I don't know. Thank you. 